Hello everybody, my name is Captain and welcome back to the channel for another Grand Theft Auto 5 online money glitch. In today's video, what I have for you guys is something that is still working. It's a glitch that's still working. It's been working for quite a couple of days now, but Rockstar won't patch this until Tuesday. So you guys can go and do this right now. If you guys want to find out all of the requirements for this glitch, go to the description down below and also drop a like on the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on post notifications and comment hashtag notification squad. So we're going to get straight into things and pretty much to start this off you want to make sure you're inside your MOC and you're in your bunker with a stock LG from here just hold L2 and options and release the two buttons at the same time if you do this correctly you should eventually get the uh, once you go to jobs and you'll go over quick job and play job it will be grayed out just like this on the screen now once you've done that head over to criminal enterprise starter pack and you want to click on that and then back out of it and click back into it once you've done this, head down to the View All Vehicles area and select the Pegasi Vortex. Once we're on this alert here, go to Southern San Andreas Super Autos and select Home and then go to Warstock Cash and Carry. And once we're on this website from here, all you got to do is go to your MOC, which is the My Mobile Operation Center. Jeez, I can't even speak today, but the Mobile Operation Center. And once you're on here, go to Interior Color and select Renovate. Uh, I can't even see what that says, but you want to renovate this, okay? And once you renovate it, go over to buy, and then you want to select buy and press options as soon as you purchase this. So you need to do this quickly because you can lose $115,000 in this part of the glitch. So pretty much just select it, press buy, press options. If done correctly, you have a black backdrop, and then the options uh, overlay over the top. Now, go to online criminal enterprise starter pack. You will have a black screen, then just back out of it. And then once you back out of it, go to options and select the selection called kill yourself. Now, once you've done this, that's pretty much the whole setup of the glitch done. From this point on, this is where we can go ahead and really duplicate our cars. And it's very, very simple, okay? So I'm going to describe to you guys what you need to do now. This is where your friend comes into play. And once you got your friend into your lobby, you will be at the docks. You will spawn at the docks. Just get your friend in the lobby and get them to invite you to their bunker. And if that's all done correctly, you've done everything correctly, you will spawn inside their inside of their bunker outside the MOC. All they need to do is walk inside of their mobile operations center and enter with all nearby friends and crew. As soon as they do this, you'll be stuck on an infinite black loading screen. And now this is your friend's perspective we're going to now. They need to simply drive the, their MOC over outside of your CEO office building and just leave the lobby. As soon as they leave the lobby, this is what your screen is going to look like just about now. So we're going to cut back to our screen. This is what you're going to be seeing. You're going to load outside the bunker. Then you will glitch out a little bit and eventually you'll spawn down outside of your CEO office building. So from here, all you got to do is call up your mechanic or go to any garage which you have the car which you want to duplicate. I'd highly recommend you guys use the Weenie EC Classic. I think it does sell for about $1.2 to $1.3 million. But this does work with every single car. You can duplicate any car you want, whether it's cheap or expensive. So from here, get the car which you want to duplicate and bring it over to your MOC to the back of it. And you'll get this alert here. Just accept that alert and you will sort of glitch out a bit. As soon as you glitch out, eventually you'll be back and stuck on a glitched uh, screen once again. This is where your interaction menu comes into handy. You want to go ahead and kill yourself. Once you do that, you will load back inside of the lobby once again. And you want to run over to the car which you want to duplicate. So once you go over to the car which you want to duplicate, which we had into the back of our MOC, you want to pretty much drive this one back inside of your office garage. Now, this is how you can rinse and repeat the process. So you've just currently duplicated that car. But if you want to rinse and repeat this process, listen closely and pay attention, okay? You want to purchase a stock LG and you want to put that inside of your MOC. As soon as you purchase it, head inside of the car which you want to duplicate, press right on the D-pad, Go to the custom auto shop and change one thing specifically. I'd recommend you guys use a license plate as it's the cheapest option. And from here, head over to your MOC and do what we did before. Accept that first alert and eventually once you are glitched out, that's where you want to go to your interaction menu and choose the selection we had before. And once you do that, head back inside of the car where you, you want to, which you want to duplicate and wait until you get an alert or a message in the bottom left hand corner which says 
from Legendary Motorsport that your stock LG has arrived. So once the LG has arrived and you've got that alert, that is when you can drive this car back inside of the office garage and that's when you successfully duplicated another car. So that is it for today's video guys, I hope you did enjoy this one, if you did, please make sure you guys drop a like down below, let's try and reach over 200 likes on this video, let's try and do it guys, okay? As well as subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on all post notifications and comment down below, but with all that being said, I'll see you all in the next one, peace.